Hello, my name is Jonathan Crabtree. I'm with the Odom Institute at UNC Chapel Hill, and I also represent the Global Dataverse Community Consortium. I'm very happy to be here today to talk to our friends uh, in, in Latin America and the Caribbean uh, and talk about data management. Uh, I'd much rather be in Brazil, but uh, uh, COVID the way it is, I guess this is how we're going to live for a little while. Uh, I would love to talk about our services today and, and how Dataverse is being used in Latin America uh, and how we can help expand that uh, as well as build a community uh, to help each other. So uh, Dataverse in Latin America is growing. Uh, we have uh, many instances uh, all around uh, Latin America, over 14, uh, and growing every day. Uh, we, we see more and more test instances, and so each day we, we see them grow. Uh, the Global Dataverse Community Consortium is growing as well, uh, not only uh, in uh, the Caribbean and, and Latin America, but also around the world. Uh, it is a, a growing group, and we're building a consortium uh, of, uh, of family members that work together to help solve problems, and, and that's what I'd like to talk a little bit about. Uh, it's growing larger and larger. We have uh, 30 members as of right now, and there's actually five in Brazil. Uh, we are spread all over the globe, uh, from, uh, from Asia to Europe to South America to North America. So we, we have a really broad coverage. Uh, lots of great programmers, lots of great technicians, lots of great data management support uh, all across this group. Uh, and it's a wonderful group to work with. Uh, I've been working with this group for uh, a long time. So why, why do we need this? So quite often data management requires a team effort. It requires more than what you have in your organization. Uh, you might have a special kind of data set that you don't know how to deal with. Uh, you might need uh, services external to you, uh, DOIs, for example, uh, in order to have uh, an object identifier that's recognized worldwide. So uh, we need to look across our borders uh, because uh, data spans uh, many countries and, and many uh, artificial borders, I would say, because we're all in the same data world. So how does uh, Global Dataverse Community Consortium do this? Well, we provide a list of services uh, to all of our members. And our members help build these services. So what uh, you need, if there's not something here, then what we need to do is talk about it and see what other members need and, and pull together and provide these resources. Uh, we started out by helping uh, manage software. The Dataverse software is open source and many people around the world work on it. So we need to manage those uh, uh, packages. Uh, one really important thing is the language packs. Uh, we have over 14 languages now uh, supported by Dataverse and those languages are supported by each person in the community. Uh, for example, we have a, a, a Portuguese language for Brazil and we have a Portuguese language uh, that's based in Portugal. Uh, we have a French language based in Paris, and we have a French language uh, based in Canada. So each community member can, can create a language pack for their specific community. We manage uh, uh, controlled uh, updates using Jenkins. We have a, a DOI service. This was one of our first services that's really important because uh, it, it was very expensive to do data site individually, but together we can use our power of buying and buy this at a much cheaper rate for all of our members. We have working groups. Uh, we also have opened up a new service where we actually, uh, we can be hired. We have groups and, and programmers within the Global Dataverse Community Consortium that can do applications programming for your group. You may need something within Dataverse and you don't have the skills to do that or have the talent in-house, but we can leverage other members around the globe to do that. And we have, uh, actually, we have one uh, programmer on staff with the Global Dataverse Community Consortium today, as well as many others that we can leverage uh, in a part-time basis. We also do installation support. It may be that your institution uh, doesn't have the, the skill base to install the software, the hardware, and all the components. We can do that on a contract basis. In addition, we can provide data management support, curation support, do training for your group. Uh, these uh, custom Dataverse 
and data, ma uh, data management training sessions are really important uh, to help get people moving up into the, the level of data curation and data management we need today. So the goal here is that we work together. So give us a, give us a call, email me, or look at our website, and uh, we're happy to have you in our community. Uh, great to be here. Have a great day.